Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Been uh, kind of staring at the map here for a little bit, and I think I've got some ideas of where to go with this one. First of all, though, we've got to get some uh, some harvesting going on. We've got this was fallow. Okay, so this is field number one. So we've gone through a whole month of harvest, and we've got two thirds of one field done. Yeah, what's going on over here? This one is almost harvested. One person should be able to handle this one just fine. So let's take you down to one. That will send the other two off into this direction to get this going. Um, what else can we shut down that is not important? Just to make sure this happens. Uh, carpentry, I've got three orders and I can't get anybody to work here. I don't need them to work here right now though. Nails, we're pretty much at the end of that. So we'll take you out. We've got 200 wood and three logs left let's take you out hopefully by this time next year we won't have to go through this anymore we'll be done thatch i can't get anybody to work in there anyway so go ahead and shut you down building projects are where everyone's going to be moving into once i do this the weaver's workshop let's go ahead and have that happen otherwise we'll pause everything else there um, that will get most of the guys out here as well. Not going to touch the market stalls this time. That shot me in the foot last time. But we could shut down this one. We could do that. But the other ones all deal with food. So I'm going to leave those alone. Um, let's see here. So one person working here, no manager. Over here, oil workshop. Where we don't have at least a half of a sunflower in there. So there's no... There's uh, nothing for them to do. So that is shut down. Trading. What is happening trade-wise? Anything? Yeah, we are importing salt and we're importing lime just to see what they are for, to have them in stock for all the rest of these buildings we're going to build to see if suddenly we, we see something being utilized. That cart is on his way. I'm going to get the speed up here in a little bit once I kind of sort out all that's going on. So he's on his way. This city has nothing for us. This city has nothing for us. Okay. So that's what's happening there. And I do want to keep hmm, at least two workers in there. I don't know that I need three. Uh, no. Well, okay. That's just to unload. Do we have anything we want to sell? Let's go back to that one. That is here. You want to buy wheat and shoes. Now, can't do anything with that. Okay. So in that case, I don't really need two of you. Or three of you questioning whether I need two except that when they do go home they do tend or when they not working they tend to go home I have not really noticed anybody sitting at any of the benches of their particular job they work at we got some out here I thought I thought we did maybe we didn't out here let's do that real quick even though I don't think I've ever seen them use it. So, in my mind, it's not happening. It's not working. If I were to do... Can I sneak you in here? I can. You can go there. And I can't put one here, but I... That's right. I remember doing this. Unless it was the other one, it's just a mirror image. I couldn't go here. So I went over here, I thought. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe it was the other one. Let's find out. I'm going to find one right over here. Yep, it was this one. Okay, I couldn't go there, and I didn't want to go here, so I went there. All right, deja vu. But one there, one there, and... I don't know. That's enough for there, I guess. Um, but we've got them out. There. There. There's one at every cart place. At least that was the plan. One right there. There's one... Wasn't there one out overlooking the water? Hmm. Anyway. Lost my train of thought. What was I working on? <laughs> Getting people out here. So we have four out here now. Um, trader. Alright. I was looking at jobs. There's one worker here. Wheat... We still have some, so we'll keep the wheat going. And there is a female laborer heading in. Why? That's... 
Oh, I'm looking at the farm. That's what happened with the cow shed. I was talking about this. I went to check wheat, and now I went back to this, thinking there's a female laborer bringing in just a single yeah, worker by hand. Interesting, but only men can work here. That shouldn't be. It should be right there. Labor by cart, worker by cart, because only men can work here. So we'll cart the things in and out. That should speed up production quite a bit. Awaiting three wheat instead of awaiting 0.1 wheat. Yeah, that's that makes a big difference. Okay, glad I noticed that. Um, over here, by hand and by cart. And... Hmm... I don't think that's necessary here. We're going to produce... We're not going to produce anything but cows. And we're going to bring in hay and water by hand from right around the corner. So that's not necessary to, to deal with carts there. So we could even shut this one down. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's all the laborers that I can free up, right? Over here we have the two ladies bringing things in. It should also be by cart for a laborer. And we'll leave them alone. So with those changes and recognizing that it really takes a little bit of time to fill this up, let's kick the speed up quite a bit. Let's just watch this work for a while. So we're at five. Over here, we're limited to one. And that one is already hauling it in. The sowing's done, right? Uh, the, the harvesting? Yeah, we're just hauling them in one at a time over here. So that can, that can work all the way through the winter there. But uh, these folks, as they take a break, they, they basically leave the workforce. So, no, I take it back. It says taking a rest. Taking a rest. Huh. That is interesting. Let's slow down so we can watch what's happening over here. You guys are coming in with our, our salt and lime. Awaiting five salt. Oh, you were another cart by chance. Okay, so salt is in. So you're going to go away, then come back with the lime? Is that the idea? It might be. I thought I saw two coming in, though. I guess it was a clay run coming out of here with it. I'll have to go back and watch that again. Or are they sitting on top of each other? Hmm. Five of five salt and zero of five lime. I guess it's next. So it's one or the other. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay, well, awaiting and storing. Well, good. Now we know where they're going to put it temporarily. Even though we're not calling for it, it can still sit here until it finds a home, which I'm guessing is what the warehouse is going to be. And something that I noticed on Vapa's episode today, and I don't know if I brought this up before, but or if some of you have noticed or have not, sometimes you get the uh, the mom of the house that is not employed. Let's see if we can find one right now. She is in labor. No, she's a laborer. Okay. Um, okay. Throw away what I was just going to say. That's interesting. He was having trouble with certain women that were not willing to go out to go to work. And that was the... Okay, we'll take care of that in a minute. And I noticed every one of them had a young child. Unemployed one month. But here's one who... Okay, now she's unemployed, and she has an 11 month. She had a 10 month old and was employed. I think that was a quirk, because all of them that were unemployed had a child, a young child, in. Hmm, unemployed six months. Wish it said maternity to verify that that's really a thing. Nine years, 11 months unemployed, unemployed one month. The one, though, would mean one family member would have to be unemployed. Hmm. Let's, let's continue looking through this. I thought I had discovered a pattern, but it's just been contradicted twice. So, one year old, and they're both working. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe he's with a sitter. I don't know. I thought I had figured something out. Oh, well. So much for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one and a half left. We've still got two full months. We're going to be fine. Okay. So that was the Weaver's Shop workshop. 
So let's get just one person in for now to start bringing, I assume we're going to see waiting for hemp soon, which from there will be stored here. Hemp 26, yeah. So once we get this up and running and get the uh, the crops in, I'll go ahead and open that up full uh, full bore, and then we'll dive into the next one. Like, let's go ahead and get the next one going, see if we can get both these going over the winter. So we'll continue you. We'll just do one at a time right now. But while this is happening, and I feel pretty confident we're going to see this done before we're out of time, so I'm not worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and start laying out some more projects. I'm thinking we can fit three houses right through here just fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, well, let's see here. T is what I want. Like so. And I want you to be fairly parallel. Let's hit the Alt and do that. So that's just a very slight touch to the R. Nope, can't do a slight touch. All right, that's about as good as I'm going to get. So if I let go, you should snap just fine. Right, let's see, hold the shift in there. Now, over here, I grow back and forth here. Um, well, let's just give it a try. Let me change my perspective, though. Right in there. Yeah, you're going to want to snap to that one. Let's go... How far can I go that way? Right there. Oops, didn't hold the shift. Can I sneak one in between now? Oh, I can. Good. And that's interesting. This gives you the flexibility to move around inside because it's grabbing on three different sides. Huh. Well, this lot's going to be a little further back. Just to be, just to make you scratch your head and wonder how I did that. <laughs> okay, those three are in there. Um, we'll pause them for now until we get comfortable that everything is ready to go crop-wise and everything else. If I'm going to open up any of these right now, it's going to be the thatch. That's been the hardest one to fill. Lumber-wise, how are we doing? Uh, where are you? Right there. Um, we're still doing decent. Though I did, that's right, I remember we ordered two ox. Two oxen? Two oxen. Um, you should be down in here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it this way. Two ox, right there. Two oxen. Two single oxes? One ox. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Never mind. Um, here. Let's order a plow. So, this guy would be important to get up and going again. Do we have any official unemployed people? We do not. Okay. So, building site is probably going to be grabbing some of them to this one. How are we doing here? We do have the three in there. And we do seem to have an emphasis to always keep this one employed. I'm, I'm impressed. I couldn't make it work the first year, but there's never been a time where they haven't uh, filled up immediately afterward. That's good. All right. The harvest is done. All right. So, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um... The one person that is employed here, show path, is just getting back from being employed here. That's interesting. How are you going to work back and forth there? So they do just kind of randomly swap jobs around. Hmm. All right. I hear tapping right there. So we're going to get the two carts and then the plow built, hopefully before next spring. This should already be set for the next year's crop. And won't have to even worry about this. Yeah. Now, six officially could go away. It's not really needed. In fact, I think I will. It's not... Am I correct? It's not part of the... Uh, yeah, four and five are the sunflowers. And... Are we missing a rotation in here? No, we're not, because there's only five crops. Let's go down to here. Yeah, we're only five crops. So we have three fields cycling through all of these guys. Now there will be one more. Let me think about that. Will there be a year where they won't have all three of them growing somewhere? So let's look at that. This year we just happen to. Next year we won't have any, any uh, wheat. 
So we do need to create that pattern in here. Okay. So in that case, I'm looking at one field that was fallow the first year, which we'll say that one was. Next one will be, uh, actually let's do this. Will be wheat, and then potato, and then hemp. And if we were to move that up so I can see it better, can I not shift you? There we go. Then, let's look at this pattern now. So every year we will have all three crops and a fallow. Yes, so that does work better. So it's a six field process. We have a messenger, okay. They're the ones that want to sell us cows. I wonder if there's ever going to be a time when we can sell them cows. Right there. They're demanding potatoes. Okay. And if we could squeeze that into this year, let's slow down. Flour, cow, iron. And we do need iron. We do need iron. Okay. Money's 300. Ouch. We have enough iron for at least a couple of years. Let's put that off till next year. Potatoes, what is in our trader right now? So I'm going to call this settled. And that last one was active. Yeah, everything is active. Okay, so we're happy there. Yeah. All right, um, trader. Two people are in it. We have 10 potatoes. We just hauled in a gob of potatoes. So town has 34. Hmm. Nothing else is going on right now. Lime did get delivered. Okay. Let's do take this up to 20 again. And let's sell 10 immediately. We've got a 25 day window here. Potato, they're demanding potatoes. So let's take you to 10 and get this one going. Deal. That'll get us 80 in, which should hopefully hold us in the 300s by the time this is done. Next year we'll have a lot more to trade. Um, we've got sunflower oil, sunflower oil ready to go. We do. No, that was... They were talking wheat and shoes. It's this one, I believe, that, that wants the sunflower oil. So when that happens, we'll be able to. Okay. So within these 25 days, I wonder how many more potatoes we can get into storage over here. See if on day one we can sneak in one more short order. All right. So 25 days means it's going to happen within November. And the other one could happen definitely within December. So all this could be part of this year's budget. Good. All right. Speed back up. At least to middle speed. And where was I? I would like to throw in the slaughterhouse and the uh, tannery and the shoes. I think I know where I want to put them now. But I don't want to fill up the queue. It's patch four that's going to make this auto size to uh, to to make sure that these windows these pop-ups are still available right now if I filled it I would cover all the way to here with what I've got planned to put in so I guess speed three then is what I'm looking for and we should be seeing that I see it wasn't no I thought I saw something moving there should be seeing him I wonder where he there he is he shows up right here what is right here there's no oh there's red we're over here. He shows up on our side of the river somehow, even without a bridge. <laughs> That's smart. Let's not uh, let's not throw him on uh, the other side of the river and have to figure that out. Okay. So you are going to dump off. No, you're going to take away potatoes, which is increasing our funds. There's 200, went up to 300, should go up to... Th wow, we're going down pretty fast, aren't we, at speed 3? Yeah. Through the winter we're going to be hurting how do we deal with that through the winter i guess we just get more stuff sold let's increase these two for now at least through those 25 days because they're going to be busy loading i don't know if we have anybody who's busy filling back up again so as soon as that is done so i have till about there let's see what this looks like six more days yeah we're going down fast here okay so whatever is available Probably to just under the two, right? Four days. Yeah, I think we're getting close to the end. Three, we'll get down to two. One more, right there. Slow her down, and let's calculate this. Seven left. Is he left officially? He's not. So, how many more are his is what I need to know. What have we reserved one potato? 
Let's see if we have brought over three or four by now. So here, let's sell another three deal. Seems to like it. For that matter, let's potato throw in another three. If any of these don't work, they should cancel out on their own, I'm guessing. So we'll at least get them into the queue and whatever is not legit. Oh, there we go. We've done eight of ten. So eight of ten, we have five in stock. So two and three. So this one should survive it. This one is not actually in here. I have a feeling at the end of the one, that's going to go away. In fact, we can kind of see that happen, huh? If I were to do this and refresh it, it's still there. One day left. Let's go let's speed up a bit. Speed up to there. That should be zero days left. Zero more days. I guess that still counts as a day. Okay, speed up some more. And about there. All right. Boom, boom. It's still holding. Because we officially still have three. Once that goes down to two to fulfill this order, but these guys might be able to get three more in before he gets here. That could be an interesting way to uh, to kind of nerf the system here, huh? Hmm. All right, let's kick the speed up, take him out to here. And while that's happening, what's going on? Nothing. All right, let's open up a building to work on. Um, let's get house in. Let's get... Not that house. Let's get... Okay, I'll just go there manually. It doesn't want to click. Remember the last time I tried to show you that and I clicked on it and it worked every time? I couldn't get that one to come up. Continue you. And you. Okay, let's do that. And that'll clear out a couple in the queue. In fact, we'll just make things happy. We'll move these up to here. Alright, so get those going. And back to here. You three are coming, and three are still in stock. So if you, I can't click to do that, but you are going to get them right now, right? No, you're over there. You're grabbing the cart. You're leaving, okay. So you are off to here to grab the potatoes. Really? Reserve 2.1, awaiting 0.1. I'd want you to grab it from here, actually. Maybe you're delivering to there. Okay, in that case, you are in there. You, you're all kind of in this line. Bringing carts to drop off things. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking that those two orders are all going to make it. We're still in the queue, so I think they are. Good. Which is going to push us into the 400s by the end of the year. That's really good. All right, speed back up. And as soon as we take out these two houses, then we'll go ahead and lay out the solder house, the tanner, and the shoe maker for, for uh, carrying potato. Carrying point ones. You were emptying something. You're probably emptying a cart in here or something. But um, anyway, for for next episode to go in. All right, y'all. You guys are coming in for your your stuff right now. All right, in here is six point one. Woo! We made it. Otherwise, I think they get there. If it's not in stock, they just turn right around and leave. So, speed you back up. Uh, let's try the S, not the W. They both landed in there at the same time. And yeah, waiting one. We'll just kind of take this up to three and we'll watch this load. And we have a worker. Oh, good. So, he's working away. You are still officially two of three and zero of three. Okay, that worked. We should see that top 400 right about the end of the year. Good. Well, that was successful. Over here, do we have a plow yet? You guys have been fulfilled, and you are cranking that plow out. The few, the oxen are in there, and there's a plow about to be delivered. Cool. So next year's crop. So that means we need a worker in here so we can run that plow. And I would say two workers just to make sure that somebody's actually on duty for that to happen. All right, slower back down, two speed. Uh, this is still being fulfilled over here. Let's think about what the plan is for next year. And there's the answer. These guys sat fallow for an entire season. We're back to 100% on all of them. Okay, so fallow rejuvenates everything. That's interesting. So what do we do long term then? We don't have the manpower 
to sow all of these fields. We just don't. Hmm. I would say we're only going to employ it with the idea of doing one field. This is our primary farm for right now. And we're going to watch the pattern we've created work. So this one did lose some ingredients. Um, 51, 41. Potato is next. So let's grab another field over here just so I don't disrupt anything. Potato requires 30 and 40, so no problem. And then, um, so then we're going to have hemp come in, which requires you again. Hemp, almost no red, just 10%, and then a whole bunch of blue. So right there, we should have lots of blue and still have a little bit of red left. So the pattern works, plus the plowing will add a boost to each one of these as you go. So the pattern will work, and this setup right here could just maintain year after year after year and never have to alter anything. So there is a self, uh, um, that's a word that I want. Yeah, it, it, it'll, just, it'll just keep on going. <laughs> Continuous. Uh, not a problem there. Um, we just don't have the manpower to do two of them. That was the band-aid to survive the mistake over here. We don't need both of them now. So, you... Let's follow you out next year. Let's run this one next time. So you will be what? Potato is a cash crop. So we get you going. Although you've got what in nutrients? 70, 80, 25. You could do potato as well. Cannot do hemp. You could do wheat. 50, 60. What did I say? I wish it would pop up right there. So we'll choose wheat just so we can see the again. 70, 80, and 50, 60. If we did these two, they're the most convenient, less, or at least travel time. Get them done. All right, we'll add you two to it, and we will put in two workers. How are the cows doing? We can handle... Now there's six. Oh, we pulled the oxen out. The ox out. Oxes. Oxens. Yeah, that one's going to bug me um, out. So they were part of the eight that was there before. Okay. The the young bull was the last one on the list. So nothing has, nobody has died and no one's been turned into, into mulch or anything. And the two people working here can easily keep up with that. In fact, we can probably get one person to do that job at this point. We do have one woman looking for a job and no men. So if we were to employ one here, to make sure that we've got the uh, um, the plowing taken care of. In fact, probably two. And then once the plowing is done, we can. They should go right into becoming a laborer in the sense that they'll they'll sow the fields too. All right, same thing over here. Two of them to make sure the plowing can get done. And a manager because we're actually going to rotate in here. Here we're just going to do it manually. So you and your number five. So you're right there. This one doesn't need to be here at all anymore. We're not going to follow the same pattern as the other. And the cow shed will use a fallow. And there will always be at least two fallow down here and more over here. So you can go away. Demolish. Not needed. All right. So that takes care of all that. Construction-wise, not a thing has happened. Well, we got a little bit brought over to that one. Thatch is happening. You are done. You're done. Okay. You, nails, we have plenty. Uh, wood, it's time to get you guys going again. We've got, well, we are starting to, to see a, a definite decline in our in our lumber. Otherwise, in here, you ladies are doing fine. All of these are doing fine. This one we turned off. We can turn that back on again. And wheat, there should be plenty in store, so we can go ahead and get lots of flour being made. <clears throat> That's it, right? Over here, I'm going to... Hire this one out for the winter and see what happens here. Stored half a textile. Over here, Taylor is done. Let's get two tailors going and see just what happens here. Now one tailor going because we don't have a lot of textile in stock now. Textile is not stored at the granary, so you would be stored where? I'm assuming you would just sit in here. 
Yeah, I would say so. You, I do want laborer by cart. Let's get a whole bunch of hemp brought over at once. So if I missed anything, I think I've kind of covered enough to where we're never going to get any construction done. Because <laughs> they're all busy doing things. Let's take you guys out for the season. That will help out. That should fill this. Get a worker going. Hopefully a laborer jumping into the next one. We only have two going. And I do have room for one more to jump into the queue. So let's put the slaughterhouse in. Right there. Where? Cows are here, so it should be near the cows. And rotate so that the cattle ramp, the loading ramp, is on the same side of the building as this building. So, let's see, right there. Hearing much of tapping. What would be the tapping now? Since we don't have, let's see, tap you again. My hearing. I don't know, we don't have this employed. We don't have the nails employed. What's the other building of taps? Anyway. <clears throat> you over here, I think, would be logical. And that... Yeah, if we do one more, we're going to be inside of this. So I can't do any more until these construct. Which they are doing. Okay, we're at speed 3. No, let's kick the speed up. We'll go just a, a little bit longer. When I start... I think I'm about a half hour into this. Alright, let's take this out to oh 45 minutes or so. See how much we can get accomplished. At least get through the winter. January. <clears throat> so I keep wanting to second guess myself. I want to make sure that, you know, not realizing that I took the cow shed down to four makes me think that, you know, trying to play the game and narrate and think about what I want to say next kind of kind of uh short circuits the brain once in a while as to what I'm actually doing compared to what I think I'm doing. I want to make sure that I haven't uh, haven't done anything to mess something up without realizing that I did it. Now we did get carts over here. What can I do to stall until March 1st? I've got carts over here and these carts are used a lot. These are, uh, are definitely uh, uh, utilized well. These over here I haven't seen used as much. But that does give us the carts we need for this area. Where else would carts be beneficial? There it is again. Slow that down. Where is that? Is it firewood? Where else? Where's firewood? Right there. <clears throat> Who else builds? Oh, construction. That was over here. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, weaver shop. Hemp stored textile is going away. Ooh, textile's going away to here. Textile, so we've got both workers selected. So I assume that means that both are capable of heading into here, ma male and female. Since by hand and by cart, or defaulted. Hmm. But again, we still don't have um, enough textile already created. Now I wonder, now the sunflower needs a half a sunflower to make one oil. So if there's less than a half, then nobody will work here. I wonder if textile... Now we're dealing with smaller increments. I wonder how many clothes come out of a textile. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm getting at. So, where are you? Are you at work? You are. So let's watch the process a little bit. Speed it back up. Alright, so you... Someone reserved the clothes to go take them probably to here? Clothes, yes. That was good, we just saw that happen. I'm waiting... Okay, that's... I want to get back to him. Waiting to see one textile reserved and then one clothes go in. I'm hoping it's point one textile to like two clothes or something like that. You are... In, there we go. Waiting... Two textile from. You're grabbing the cart. Okay. Slow back down. It kind of looks like a one for one. Are you getting that too? I'll have to come back to this. What's over here? And how did our. Hold on. Slow down. How'd our budget go? 
We only lost 47 last time as a result of a lot of trading. Exports 232. Okay, so we're going to have to get the exports really going in order to keep this economy going until we're a little more uh, uh, self-sufficient. Okay, back to here. 18 more days. We're from here. Salt, lime, and dried fish. I was thinking here. Darn. Okay. You demand wheat and shoes. We still don't have anything to do it, and I'm not buying any more from you. So that one is done. All right, back to three. So reserve clothes. All right, so I'm waiting for textile to be reserved again. You're probably not at work anymore. Uh, show path. I think you're sitting here taking a break. Okay. Did we put... Did not. We did... Yeah, we have a... No, that's not a bench. Okay. Hmm. There we go. There we go. All right. I want to get more benches around just to be sure that I know what I'm talking about. Textile point one. That's being brought over. All right. And now you're going back home. And then you're going... Don't know where you are. You're taking a break over there again. All right. Slow back down. Let's load benches in. Let's see if this is a thing or not. I had not seen them use any of the benches over by the businesses. So I want to try this again. Make it so there's no way that they can't not be. Shift. I'll put two of them over here. This is a front door as well. So I can go over here. That looks pretty good. And let's get over here. Carts. Unfortunately, I don't have access to... Well, I do have access to right here. Okay, so let's do that. Spin you around the wrong way. And into... There-ish. Okay. So that's that. We have a spot over here, too. Alright, let's put that in. Um, in fact, we'll put it at the end here like we've done all the other cart storage. Alright, so you're going to go there. That's our tailor right there. Going to have to get some more uh, textile, right? Well, if I click away, I can... <laughs> it's such a long journey. Yeah. Oh, well, at least you're bringing a whole one at a time and not a point one. All right? No, you're bringing a port one, a point one in a cart, dude. Because you only have a point one. Yeah. All right. Toss the cart. You can just zip back and forth. You'll do it faster. You're going to use it as fast as they can make it, and you are hauling a clothes away. Yeah, the the picking up a cart and the putting away a cart is taking too much time. But let's do watch this process real quick. All right. Waiting clothes. Reserve clothes. Okay. I'm waiting for you to make that a point three. Are you going to... I didn't see you zip out of here. No, you're still hiding in there. He doesn't work very fast, does he? And he's leaving. And he didn't use the uh, the benches around here. Yeah. Where are you now? You went to your house, and you're going to go to sit over here. What if I got rid of these? What if I got rid of these? Demolish. Where are you going now? You're going to go sit over there, but you won't sit next to the uh, sit at the one right next to you where you work. That is so odd. Take a break right here and go right back to work. That was the idea, but I haven't seen him do it. All right, March 1st. Yep, totally tunnel vision into here. What is not happening here? Well, we've got two fields plowed. And out of our two workers, you're taking a rest, and you're just starting your rest, I think. But we have no sowers whatsoever. Wow. Okay. Shut down the, uh, the weavers, except for one. Shut down the tailor, because we're not going to have any weavers. Yeah, we got to get the sewing in while there's time. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Take you guys down. 
because we're, we're done fulfilling all of that. Um, down to one until I uh, um, actually need the uh, you know, need that that job done. Back down to zero right now. No one's really absolutely needed at the moment. Um, need to get you guys going. Thatch is doing great. You can go away. You are don't need you. Don't need you. Over here, we're out of logs. I better leave you two alone. Over here, you guys are just doing your thing. And I covered all my bases. Right here, right there, right there. Two are in. The job is done. Let's just make you guys laborers now. Okay. And over here, still no laborers. That hurts. Hmm. I don't think I missed anything. Nope, now we just need time to let everybody go and do their thing. Alright, you're back to doing this. We should have four fields running at all times. So you are going to be Sunflower and you are going to be Fallow. Okay. And we should see other laborers, at least the other one. No, you're still finishing your... No, you're working. You're taking your rest. And you just finished your work. And... You're taking your rest. And you are going to work. Good. There she comes. She's going to grab the plow and do the next job. But there's nobody sowing a single seed. Oh. Now, it's not that the laborers can't start until all the fields are, are plowed. Because I've seen them come right in behind and, and uh, sow. Right? Now that that's done... No, because she started right here. So somebody had been sewing the first half. But now she's got to go take her rest. No. They have to check in after every three or four passes. That's what it is. She's got to get more seed. Then she's got to go back to continue planting more. But half of this had been sewn. Sewed? Sewn? while the plowing was still continuing. So no, we don't have to wait for all the fields to plow before the sowing can, can begin. Okay. Hmm. What are you? Your house. And you're a shadow. Okay. <laughs> now, did I miss anything out here? You, you, and you. Nope. Over here. Fishing is happening. You guys should not be employed. You guys are bringing in logs. Good. And <clears throat> we're still making flour. We are still um, doing some textile so we can get this up and running again afterward. Now, sunflower, we don't have any from last year, do we? We do. Okay. Eventually, we can get this going again sunflower workshop but I do want to get the sewing done so we'll race forward to get the sewing done and we'll turn those buildings back on and be ready for next episode I think that will that'll be a, a finish there for this one otherwise what's happening here we'll go this route sewing is finished sewing is just starting sewing is finished sewing is finished sewing is just starting that noise was a house oh good boy do we need it you get up and running, and then you get up and running next. Continue. Once those are done, we can lay out... Hmm, what was... Oh, dropped off our new family. Who are labor and unemployed. The unemployed should transition soon into laborer, I would think. Usually, this is you right now taking off to go and get supplies for the house. I think that has to be done first. We just saw water show up. Now, is she going to do it again? If I were to... There you go. You're going to do it again. No, you're a laborer now. And unemployed, you were a laborer dropping things off. So it's just a matter of waiting for the next position to open up for you. Okay. So you guys are doing fine. Wealth has dropped quickly, but you bought some things. That's why. Okay, so sewing just finished here, right? So we're down to one left, and that's done. Okay, so once that happens, 
then we can turn a few of the businesses back on and we'll be done for this time. Can I assume that that's going to be finished? I think I can. All right, so what needs to go back on? We need to oil workshop one person. We need to turn this back on for summer employment. And we need to turn this back on to use the textile that they're making. We're doing fine over here. Slaughter house. I forgot to pause that. Well, that'll be fine. That'll get up and going. And let's slow it back down a bit. Things are going a little bit hectic here. Um, we'll be able to fill these in as there's jobs available. We didn't... We did shut... No, we did fill that back up again. You guys are doing fine. Hemp is doing fine. Or not him, uh, Thatch. You are. Nails. Probably could use one. And we have nobody calling over there. So I've covered everything, right? I think so. So I wanted to lay out these two buildings and then call this one done. We want to put in the... Where are you? Tannery. Comes in after the stage of slaughtering. Okay. I need to remember to pause these guys. I'm thinking over in here. I still want... Although we do have a nice straight road that has formed. Oh good, I was hoping that that would happen. Now, what I was thinking about doing was kind of, you know, making that, I want this to connect to here then go down. So to do that, how would, how would I do that? Or do I get into this area instead? Hmm. Where's the, the door to this thing? Is it at an end or is Right there, he's at the end. Okay. Or do we do something like this? That's kind of interesting. That way it leaves that road in place, right? You get into where I can see that. Kind of. For the most part, it does. Okay. Or I can make it curve around. Interesting. So you kind of shape the roads with the buildings. The front end's over here. Huh. You know, I'm going to think about that. I'm not going to put that in just yet. Yeah. So we've got basically that building, and we've got the shoemaker's workshop. He's a little building. And he feeds from the corner right there. So he could be in this area too. Don't know what else I want to do over here. Unless we didn't put the other um, cow and... That's interesting. What if this field went back over here to complete the pattern? And instead we put more cow shed over here, since we already have the hay and the water here too. A second cow shed, so they'll both feed the same slaughterhouse. Over here we get another field in, so this kind of finishes off the symmetry. I like that. All right, I'll try to remember that for next time, but we're definitely getting long for this episode. So let's slow you down. In fact, we'll hit pause and, and call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.